Here's a little video about a little bit of, I suppose, of a follow on from what happened this morning. Um, yeah. Someone's, uh, a witness actually contacted me and um, I'm, I've, I've taken a picture with my camera of my phone because I can't record and read WhatsApp at the same time. Um, here we go. I'll just read the read this whole whole thing to you. Now I put my status as a picture of Anthony Morris's head on a maggot with uh, a liquor, um, lots and lots of alcohol um, in the background. And the lady sent me a. She had me in her phone as Marie, which I found out further on in the message. But she thought I was Marie. But yeah, she. I told her once I realised that she thought I was Marie. I put her straight. I thought she knew it was me. But anyway, she sent me a uh, a screenshot on WhatsApp of Anthony Morris, Maggot Man, with the liquor. Top job, Tony the Maggot Man, and uh, she sent me a screenshot of that with three question marks. I said, he was filmed on a Sunday morning during meeting time buying eight hundred dollars of alcohol, even though around eight hundred dollars of alcohol, even though it is known he's out, he's got a drinking problem. So he knows he's got a drinking problem. He's going down the thing, going against everything he teaches, you know. Um, and she says, I used to live in this town. And then question mark, and then going to going to the Zoom meetings? Question mark. I put, no, we moved out of the town to a nearby town. We couldn't go on Zoom because there is a brother who is a paedophile. Oh. Elders told us to use the link instead. Made my kids cry. Then she replied, oh dear. Have you spoken to your circuit overseer to move to a different congregation to to run away? Oh. And then she says, and I said, it was absolutely not possible for us to move or travel. And the CO knew about the paedophile. We had to listen to the memorial on a bad link. And it was a horrible experience. Off you go, Lizzie. And it was a horrible experience hearing the paedophile at the end. The paedophile didn't stick to the arrangement that he should stay on one side of the hall. The elders told me they were too afraid to do anything else in case the paedophile pressed charges against them. An elder told me that the man struggles with sexual thoughts about children. Uh, the elders tried to lie to me, telling me he wasn't a paedophile. Uh, but when I told them what I knew, they admitted straight away what he is. We were pushed aside. And then she, this is where I realised she thought I was Marie. She put, obviously, Marie, do you believe Jehovah? Is the true God? Question mark. I put sorry. This is Brian. And then she put, and then she put Brian and my surname. I said, yes. She put, hi Brian, you're in my contact list as Marie. Big space. Well, the question remains. Big space. As your post suggests, you are either very very hurt and angry, or you've turned apostate. Which is it? I put, if I leave because of what happened to us, would that make me apostate? She put, did I say that? Are you a Jehovah's Witness? And so two messages, the first one says, did I say that? And the second one says, are you a Jehovah's Witness? I put, I'm a bit angry, yes. And then I messaged again, put, but hurt more. And then she put again, are you a Jehovah's Witness? I put, we disassociated, and then bye. That's it. Isn't it funny how these oh, show concern? She'll now say he tried. He tried to put me off. He tried to put me off. You know, blah blah blah. The fact is, right? My family have been put through that much shit, bullying, control. Being lied to, fucking used, shat on by people who think they're nice and people who actually, they think they're nice but deep down they know they're fucking bad, right? I'm sick of it. I hate it. I do hate it. 
I hate that organisation. It's disgusting. We are a good family. We did bugger all wrong. And what did they do? They shat on us. They told us that they were pushed out. We were stupid. Well, I'm not stupid. I saw through their lies. I saw through their crap. And Marie wanted to leave before me. She did. She really wanted out of there. And I feel guilty for what I put her through because I kept her in for a while um, till I'd had enough. I should. Fucking, I don't know what. But this stupid bitch will now go and tell other people. Did you know this this brother? He left. He left. He left the truth, and he was. You know, he should have trusted Jehovah. And what was she? What the hell was she going to say? Do you still believe Jehovah is the true God? He'll sort it out in due time. What ten fucking years of shit? That's all we've had. We muddled on because we were brainwashed, and it's not to get to paradise. Don't talk crap. And now I've been put through all that crap. I've had that done to me. And I did nothing back except just walk away from it. And now I'm a bad fucking person. According to them. They won't talk to me. I'm now an apostate. Don't talk to him. I know what you're all going to say. I know the comments. And thank you for... I know what you're going to put. And I can imagine some of the things that you're going to put. But you can see where I'm coming from. The word needs to get the hell out and stop vulnerable people. Everybody needs to know the absolute truth about these bullshit fucking lying fake governing bodies. Yeah. And know that it's bull before they are vulnerable, before they go through um, a, a loss of, of a mammy, family member or whatever. And, and, and take the bait. They need to know before that. They need to be got to before they become brainwashed. And stop kids getting abused. Stop people getting married to men who abuse them. And I'm not just talking about beating. I have seen a lot of mental abuse. And I do actually think that the way that they actually run... And the headship arrangement and stuff. Even if you stick to that and don't go off it, it's still borderline dodgy. Yeah? I know they've had meetings specifically to praise sisters and blah de blah and all this lot. But it's not fucking nice because they're put on and it's not nice. The amount of pressure was put on Marie to do things. And yes, some sisters would come and help. But some would come and help and they'd just sit there and do nothing. Or they'd make things worse. Um, there are very few, very few good people in in that organisation. And the problem with it is, those good ones will never come out because they're shut. They talk about people on the outside being blinded by Satan. Their minds are blinded by Satan. Your Jehovah's Witnesses' minds are blinded. They're blinded. You're being controlled. They're being controlled. And it really does pee me off because I want this message to get out there. And I'm thinking about posting, joining the old town we were on, trying to find a community Facebook page and put a video of my face on there telling everything that's fucking happened and say, now, Jehovah's Witnesses, you, I've been through all this hurt because of all you lot and all you elders who did nothing. When my son was bullied, I was told to toughen up. Well, I'll tell you what tough enough is, is I told the guy whose son bullied me, I said, if you, if they did that, if that was done to me, I'd smack you in the face. Straight out. That's toughening up. Don't put up with bullying. Don't put up with it. It's all bullying. I've just drove through town and for the first time, seen a, an elder with his wife and he saw me at a distance and he pretended not to see me as I drove by. What I should have done is fucking beat me on and stick my fingers up at him. So yeah, sorry about the little rant and the hate I'm feeling at the moment. But I'm just getting a bit pissed off with it. With it all. We're enjoying our lives and stuff like that. Um, but it's a ride. I'm not going to hide from it. I'm not going to hide from the hate I've got. Um, 
you've got to be true to yourself go through these things in life i'm glad that i am um, in a way i'm not i'm not regretting that i'm, I'm not regretting at all though what i've gone through in the last 10 years because it's um it's made me stronger in a way that people who don't go through it and it makes me understand more things um so yeah um Well done, all of you who have left that bullshit organisation. I'm s- apologise for swearing. If you don't like it, you could have turned it off. But this is this is this is what I'm. This is how I feel. I'm not going to hide it. Sometimes I think swear words can convey feelings better than any other words. You can say I've got a lack of vocabulary, whatever you want, but I don't care. Right. But all you who have left, well done. Get the hell out of it. Don't ever think that you've done the wrong thing because you've done the right thing. Don't think back to good times where people treating you good because they were they were think of those people and all the things they did bad, all the things that they just did completely wrong. You can see that it wasn't in their hearts. They're not good people. They're just bad. And like like I said, a very, very few I think have good hearts, but even them I do query. Um, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing and the comments. The comments help people as well as the videos, I think, probably more so. Um, I think that's about all I've got to say, really. Yeah, I think it just needs to get out that uh, the word apostate is disgusting, really. I am an apostate because I'm against it. Um, but if you if you leave and you haven't been disfellowshipped, you've done nothing wrong. You're bad. You they can't they do not disassociated and disfellowshipped. They had a local talk about us saying it's the same, they should be treated the same because they didn't want anybody in the congregation talking to us and knowing what had happened. So yeah, screw the organisation, sod the governing body, those bunch of lying morons, they're thick and evil and it will crumble and it will fall and thanks to the internet and people making videos and commenting and spreading this any way you can, maybe we can break it all down. Uh, to a to a poxy little cult and maybe we can get all the governments to actually see which they seem to be doing open their eyes to the hatred that's in it and um and shut it down shut it the hell down because there is no god that's behind disgusting organizations like that and if and if there was i wouldn't want nothing to do with it so ran over i've got to go and make dinner my kids bye bye take care